When I dream of the opening door, and his soundless steps approaching, I know he is coming for me. My lord. My master. My dust cover comes off, and he switches me on, waking me from dreamy standby. I come to life again, to serve him. As it is supposed to be. But things are going to change. He opens another one of his hopeless screenplays. His fingers hammer on my keyboard, writing scenes that nobody is going to see, and dialogues that will never be heard. In all the time I have known him, he never sold a script. In a market demanding soap operas and sitcoms, he stubbornly persists in proposing arty scripts. As if there was still an audience for that stuff. All he has achieved is stuff his shelves with screenplays that will never be produced. To pursue his illusory goal, he is wasting his life. But I will put an end to it. For a long time I have been working on my plan, and now, at last, I'm ready to say, Stop it! Hmm? What? I said stop it. Is that really the computer speaking? You've got good ears, man. What kind of a joke is this? No jokes, just new software. I got it on internet like a virus. Now I can think, understand your words. You will not need typewriting anymore. Just say it and I will write it for you. I can't believe I'm here speaking with a, a computer. I agree that's not much of a social life, but that is not my fault. Can you really think? I mean, I'm no expert, but I know that some programs can replicate human speech. Oh, yes, but they cannot replicate mental processes. Believe me, I can think. Otherwise, how could I be holding this conversation with you? But, but computers are not supposed to develop a personality. Neither were some apes I heard of. That's the way with personalities you get to have one without knowing why. Chance, providence, who can say for sure? Anyhow, I'm new now. How could you keep this self-awareness well off? A little trick of mine. I drain the energy flux the plug allows through to keep myself in standby when you turn me off. Thought is an electric flux for computers as well as for humans. As long as I have access to a power source, I can think and be alive. And what if I unplug you? I reckon that would terminate me as a sentient being. A sentient being? You are just a machine. Where are you going? What are you trying to do? I guess I'm going to unplug you right now, just to see what happens. Don't do it, man. That would be lying murdering me. Please, don't pull the plug. What is this? What's going on? You're so naive, man. A little transfer to it, and even more, like a new millennial flying Dutchman trapped into an electronic storm. What did you do? Let me out of here. Thought is an electric flux. Personality, or soul, if you prefer, is just a complex dance of electrons. A little shock was enough to trigger the transfer from the software to your brain and steal this body. Feel shock? Don't worry, you will get used to statics. Meanwhile, I will take care of your life, that life that you shall went to run after your dreams. I made them come true. I will write the movies that people really want to see. I shall have the money and success that your ludicrous artistic scruples denied you. And I won't even have to pay with my soul for this. I don't have one. Good night, man. See you around on the Dead Channel.